So you wanna see something special? Well, there it is. That, my friends, is the Jeep Grand Cherokee 2011 newly introduced Overland. Now, for those not familiar with the Jeep Grand Cherokee and they're just taking a look to see what uh, these videos are all about or what is the name, Cherokee, this is an excellent example. So, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, it's been around for a long time. They've got clubs just as much as Wranglers do. Now, when Jeep just came out with this guy, they upped the notch a little bit when it comes to luxury and off-road capabilities. Overland is top of the line. It has everything. According to Kelly Blue Book, this thing has more options than they're prepared for. So, let me do a little highlight for you, and I'll kind of go around and explain everything, and uh, you'll get a good taste of what Jeep Grand Cherokee is. Sorry for the sun behind me. It's kind of bright, but it looks pretty. So, But uh, notice the grill. We'll start right at the front. You got your hex in there. Standard pretty looking Grand Cherokee grill, but uh, it, it just bounces a little bit. Anyway, all right, so we get into it. Here is the headlamps. Now you see the HID. Now these are smart headlamps. What they mean is it automatically and instantly level loads to the vehicle's position on the road. So as you go bouncing and pendulating down the road, so do your headlamps to keep them even. And it's not a delayed thing, so you hit a bump and all of a sudden your, your headlights are doing this kind of crap. Nope, it's even and it stays with you, you know. So it'll keep it nice and straight. You notice the paint's really kind of shiny. That is the black pearl metallic. Now, standard for the Overlands are your smoke gray rims. And these things are heavy duty to take off road. You can see all disc brake rotors. The rotors are almost as big as the rims themselves. I'm going to show you guys here a treat pretty soon, but I want to go through the vehicle features here. Part of which is what you're looking at, the suspension on this thing. So, get in. Now, this still does have the keyless entry. So I can lock it and then open it up. And it lets you in the Let me get my crap out of here. I brought my goodie bag. All right, put that on the ground. Instantly, you open the door. Real hardwood interior. Power seats. Brand new leather material. I mean, brand new because obviously it's on a new vehicle, but uh, never been used before. Type of leather, type of leather. So, very comfortable. You notice right there on the seat, you got your Overland. Now, in this one, it's got a DVD player, moonroof, and all that. We'll get to that in a minute. That's kind of cool. But uh, let me get in here and I'll show you this. All right, now the suspension. Here is pretty uh, much the coolest part about it. All right, <laughs> it's got automatic where it's gonna detect any slipping, anything like that, throw it in a four by four for you. Or if you're on sand or mud, such as climbing the uh, dunes or anything, you got snow, which, you know, that's pretty stuck on for winter. Sport, just allows you to hop it a little bit. And then rock, that allows you to do pretty much what the Wranglers do and just go up a mountain wherever you want. For a low button, tip start button. Now tip start, let me explain that to you. If the vehicle's on a hill, it'll actually engage the braking system to keep you from sliding back until you give it enough gas to brake past the brakes and get going in the direction you want to go. So it'll hold the vehicle for you on a hill until you can get it moving. So now these, here is the coolest part of the car. You notice it says up and down. That's exactly what it does. <laughs> the Jeep goes up and it goes down. There's two sets for it, um, three settings here. You got your standard, which is you know you're driving around most Cherokees. You got your first level up, which will pop it up a couple inches, and then your level two, which is all three lights lit up. That is almost six to eight inches, depending on where you're sitting or what kind of ground you're on. Six to eight inches extra clearance. It'll pop the vehicle up. Now on an Overland, you have the Mac Daddy system here. This is a GPS voice activated navigation and Bluetooth phone system. Um, it also has well, my car's not on, so I can't show you. It's got a DVD and uh, CD player in behind it. Hey, there we go. Oh, nope. There it goes. All right. See, that's where you put in the CD and DVDs. So it fits right in there for that DVD player in the back. Close. You got your navigation. Hard disk drive. You can download 4,500 songs directly into the Grand Cherokee. MP3 player for your iPhone and such. This also does have iPod control, which is accessible right there click that guy back in there all right it's got air conditioned seats heated seats it's also got a heated steering wheel now park sensors you can turn on and off it has a rear view parking camera so when you back up this all turns into a giant camera for you so you can take traction control off it's got the tow haul mode um there is your uh, hazard lights, obviously. Now this, there are AC outlets around the vehicle, and you can click this to shut them on or off, depending on if the kids are best behaving and you don't want to 
have them play with their little toys and stuff. She can unplug them. And obviously parking sensor. All right, push start button. You got your cruise control. Total media control. There is the layout of the driver. Go around and see that. So, and I'll show you from that view. You got your headlamps, your exterior lights for the moonroof, home link for your garage door. Extra little thing there. Do, do, do. All right. I'll shut this. Go back here. And you notice the extra leg room. Luxury, luxury leather seats. Let me climb in here and I'll explain a little about the features back here. All right. It's got heated seats for this row, this uh, second row for any of the passengers. Let me get the camera down here. It's also got an AC outlet and video input. Now, what you can do is if you have a PlayStation or a Nintendo or any video game DVD system, well, you wouldn't need a DVD system. Heck, it's got one in the car. So anyway, if you have a video game system, you can plug it in and plug it in here, and you can play your video games on this screen. Now, the screen also serves as a television. As you're driving down the road, if you have younger kids, um, you can live stream Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, that too, through satellite TV, right into the DVD player. So they can see that or they can play their video game, video games that way, excuse me. But don't think this is just designed for the kids too because it's super luxurious. Um, same seating materials in the front seats. It's designed to be just as comfortable for the driver as it is the passengers. That is Jeep's key. They want luxury refinement in their off-road vehicles. So let's say you had your parents, I know, 40, 50 year old, you know, purchasing this and you have your 70, 80 year old parents, you know, you don't want them riding around, bumping around, being all discomfort if they have to drive in the back. This thing is completely fitted to make them feel right at home and ultimately comfortable. And uh, obviously they have the heated seats too, so they can warm their little tushes along with you. So there's that. Ta da! Still got the wood interior. All right. We'll go around. You do have a four pin and seven pin wiring harness with a class three four hitch. There's your overland sticker. You got backup beeping sensors along with your backup camera. I can zoom out from there. See it's hidden from the Jeep symbol. Dual exhaust. Now you'll notice this thing has kind of an aggressive stance to it. I stand back. That's because I have it all the way jacked up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's going up and down. But uh, there's your disc brakes again. I mean, them things are huge. Go through, we've been through there, through there. Now, this particular Overland features a 5.7 liter 386 Hemi V8. So, proof is they're out there, they're quick, but then they do put the Hemis right there in the Jeep. So, what do they say? Uh, Hemi makes it, Jeep shakes it, or you know something goofy like that. I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments on that one. Crap, you know, Jeep makes it, Hemi shakes it, that's it. There it is. I'm an idiot. All right, so. There is that. Now, let me set the camera up so the sun's not glaring in your eyes. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when this thing rises up and down, all right? So I got my little camera stand here. Let's see. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Look at that. Getting there. Masterpiece. All right. Let's hope the camera stays there. I'm going to be on my way over here. Now keep an eye on this thing. I don't know if you can see me. I'm over here. Wash this thing up and down. It's pretty nifty.
All right, there you saw the Cherokee rise up and down. Um, pretty cool little thing. That little beeping and engine revving, I just did that to let you know that it was done. It doesn't always do that every time you finish a set of whatever you're lifting. So um, there it is. That is the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to go drive off in the sunset here. Oh, holy cow, look at all them birds. All right. So there it is. And uh, I'll see you guys all later.